Ever since people started flying a lot, there's been a big competition between American and European airplanes. The main players in this competition are Boeing and Airbus, and they have their own way of making planes. But is one better than the other? And guess what? There's a new company in the competition. Join us at Superstructures to find out more. Entering the realm of aircraft appearances, distinguishing between a Boeing and an Airbus plane is quite simple with just a quick look. However, there's more than meets the eye. These aviation giants showcase unique styles that mirror their distinct engineering philosophies. Boeing, for instance, boasts a distinctive nose shape, often more pronounced than Airbus. This design isn't just for show. It serves practical purposes like accommodating various cockpit arrangements. Identifying a Boeing becomes easier with the trademark eyebrow windows above the cockpit, a unique feature. And let's not overlook their landing gear, easily recognizable with a robust six-wheel truck setup. Now, Airbus takes a different approach. They opt for a more streamlined nose profile, focusing on maximizing aerodynamic efficiency. Considering the Airbus A320 series, for instance, its nose is less pronounced compared to its Boeing counterparts. Airbus also keeps things uniform in the cockpit, making life easier for pilots switching between different models. When you spot a four-wheel bogey landing gear, you're looking at an Airbus. One noticeable aspect is the height of the tail sections. Boeing planes usually have taller tails, aiding in stability during takeoffs and landings, especially in bumpy conditions. Airbus, on the other hand, goes for a slightly lower tail in the name of aerodynamic efficiency, resulting in less drag and better fuel economy. And let's not forget the wingtips. Boeing often adds winglets to many of their models. These fancy upward-angled wing extensions are all about reducing drag, improving fuel efficiency, and boosting overall performance. Airbus, however, prefers a more curved wingtip design, which enhances efficiency while giving their planes a distinct look. These differences aren't just for show. They reveal a story about how these manufacturers approach their aircraft. Boeing prioritizes flexibility and adaptability, leading them to adopt a more modular approach to cockpit design and other aspects of their planes. On the flip side, Airbus places a strong emphasis on aerodynamic efficiency and maintains a standardized cockpit layout. Now, the mysterious third player eager to compete with these giants will be revealed shortly. But for the moment, let's turn our attention inside these planes because the differences there can be just as intriguing, if not more so. Now let's venture beneath the surface of these marvelous flying machines and explore what distinguishes Boeing and Airbus on the inside. One of the key differences lies in the engines that propel these giants of the sky. Boeing and Airbus often opt for engines from different manufacturers, and these choices can significantly impact how these planes perform and consume fuel. For Boeing, it's typically engines from General Electric or Rolls-Royce. You'll find GE engines like the CF-6 series and the newer GE-NX powering some Boeing models. Others showcase their prowess with Rolls-Royce Trent engines. On the Airbus side of things, you might encounter Pratt & Whitney engines, known for their PW4000 series, or engines from international aero engines like the V2500. Each of these engine makers brings their own technological innovations, thrust capabilities, and fuel efficiency magic to the table, contributing to the unique characteristics of Boeing and Airbus planes. When it comes to the brain of the plane, the flight control system, both Boeing and Airbus employ fly-by-wire systems. However, their approaches to using these systems add an interesting twist. Boeing opts for a setup with multiple redundant systems, empowering pilots to intervene and take control during these critical moments. On the flip side, Airbus heavily relies on automation. Its fly-by-wire system incorporates fancy envelope protection logic to prevent the plane from going too wild and crazy. These differences reflect their philosophies on pilot-assist technology and control backup. Heading to the cockpit, you'll notice more distinctions. Boeing sticks with a classic yoke-style control column, providing a more hands-on feel for the controls. Airbus, on the other hand, embraces a side-stick control and adopts a simpler digital approach to the cockpit displays. These variations aim to optimize how pilots interact with the aircraft, aligning with each manufacturer's unique design preferences. These are just a few glimpses into the inner workings of Boeing and Airbus aircraft. Factors like wing design, weight distribution, cabin setup, and the materials they use all contribute to crafting the unique personality of each manufacturer's planes. This, in turn, shapes the flying experience for both passengers and pilots. 
Now, shifting our focus to what Boeing and Airbus do to ensure passengers are as comfortable as possible. Let's talk about what passengers can expect when they board a flight. When comparing American and European airlines, you'll find that the passenger experience can vary, from seats to entertainment and even cockpit design. Starting with seating, European airlines like Lufthansa, British Airways, and Air France prioritize comfort on their long-haul flights. They focus on spaciousness, providing extra legroom, wider seats, and clever seat setups designed for comfort during extended flights. European carriers also throw in extras like larger windows, quieter cabins, and ergonomic seat designs to enhance the comfort game. On the other side, American airlines like Delta, United, and American Airlines may take a different approach. They sometimes pack in more seats, potentially leading to tighter seating and less legroom. However, they still prioritize passenger comfort by offering various seat classes, including premium, economy, and business class, catering to all types of travelers. Now let's delve into in-flight entertainment. Both American and European airlines are keeping pace with the digital age, but they have their own distinct approaches. European airlines typically treat passengers to a vast selection of on-demand entertainment, offering a plethora of movies, TV shows, and music. Some even collaborate with major film festivals, bringing award-winning cinema to the skies. On the other side of the pond, American Airlines shine the spotlight on personal electronic devices to elevate your in-flight experience. But here's the twist. A new player is entering the scene, and it seems like American and European Airlines might face some serious competition ahead. Get ready to rumble because there's a new player on the block, and they're here to shake things up. Meet Comac. Short for the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, a state-owned aerospace manufacturer with significant global ambitions. While Boeing and Airbus have been calling the shots for ages, Comac's entry into the scene is stirring up serious competition. In terms of appearance, Comac planes seem to draw inspiration from both Boeing and Airbus. Take the Comac C919 for example. It boasts a blended wing body design reminiscent of the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. This design aims to enhance fuel efficiency and provide passengers with more legroom. If you examine the nose and cockpit layout, you might notice some similarities with the Airbus A320 series. It's like Comac has taken a bit of inspiration from the industry giants. But they're not just following the crowd, they're putting their own spin on things. You can't miss the Chinese cultural symbols and colors that adorn their planes both inside and out. The exterior of Comac Plains flaunts intricate artwork that celebrates Chinese heritage, setting it apart from the more conservative looks of Boeing and Airbus. Once you step inside, you're surrounded by Chinese motives, offering a strong sense of cultural identity and national pride. However, one area where Comac aligns with the big players is in their choice of engines. For example, the C919 opts for engines from CFM International a joint venture between General Electric and Safran Aircraft Engines, the same engine deal that Boeing and Airbus have had for ages. This choice indicates that Comac is sticking to international norms and tapping into established engine technology. However, let's not kid ourselves. Comac's journey hasn't been all smooth sailing. They face challenges such as manufacturing quality and certification processes. Nevertheless, every obstacle they encountered has only propelled them to become better and more innovative within the Chinese aerospace industry. When it comes to the technology inside their planes, the C919 doesn't disappoint. Loaded with the latest fly-by-wire technology, its fly control systems are sophisticated and efficient. Comac has incorporated a range of high-tech avionic systems to enhance situational awareness, navigation, and safety. Comac's entry into the aviation game isn't just about them. It signifies China's ambition to become a major player in the global aviation scene. However, Boeing and Airbus aren't giving up their thrones just yet. Still, Comac's entry serves as a reminder that the aviation landscapes is always changing. With its blend of design inspiration and cutting-edge tech, the C919 represents a bold step towards shaping the future of flying. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the world of aircraft and want more captivating content, make sure to hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and ring the notification bell. Stay tuned on Superstructures for more exciting videos. Until next time, fly high and stay curious!